This is circle theorem number four. Um, a cyclic or cyclic, if you want to call it, quadrilateral is a quadrilateral that can be drawn on the edge of a circle. So that's a four-sided shape, which is a quadrilateral. In order for it to be a cyclic quadrilateral, it has to fit inside a circle and all of the edges, sorry, all of the points need to touch the circumference. Here's another example. As you can see, all four points touch the circumference. And here's a final example. Now, the rule that you have to consider is that opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. So here's a cyclic quadrilateral. If that's 85, the opposite angle to that is 95 and both when added together equal 180 degrees. If that is 88, the one opposite is 92. If you add them both together, they equal 180 degrees. Here's another example. That one's 30, that's 150, they add up to 180. If that's 140, the other one should be 40. So they both add up to 180. And finally, 99, 81 equal 180, 77 and 103 add up to make 180 degrees. So this is another part of the rule. An exterior angle in a cyclic quadrilateral will always be the same as the opposite interior angle. Well, let me show you what that means. Here's a cyclic quadrilateral, and this line that's been extended out is an exterior angle for this one here, and this line is an exterior angle for this angle inside there. So what we're going to do now, if that's 73, then the angle opposite to that is also going to be 73. So an exterior angle in a cyclic quadrilateral will always be the same, okay, as the opposite interior angle. Now, how do we prove that? Um, let's go back a step, actually. If this is 73, and we said that the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral equal 180, then technically this part here should be 180 minus 73, which is going to give you 107. Okay, so that's 107. Let me just write that in 107, which means that this angle here is going to be 73 because both of these angles are on a straight line and they add up to make 180 degrees. Now you don't have to go through all of this working out if you follow the rule. So let's have a look at the next one. If this is 88, the opposite angle over here should add up with 88 to make 180 degrees. But what we're saying is that if these two add up to make up 180 and this angle over here, okay, and this angle over here add up to make 180 also, then technically this one and this one are going to be exactly the same, which they are. Here's another example. If this angle here is 104, this angle, okay, plus this angle here should equal 180 degrees. So if these two angles are on a straight line, then technically this angle and this angle should be the same, Oops. which they are, as you can see there. So 107 there is going to be the same as 107 here, because this 107 plus this, whatever the angle is, should make 180 degrees, and therefore these two are on a straight line, should also make 180 degrees. So that follows the rule exactly. An exterior angle, okay, the exterior angle there in a cyclic quadrilateral will always be the same as the opposite interior angle. So here's the exterior, here's the opposite, and here's the opposite interior angle. Okay, here's the exterior angle in this one, the first example, 73. The opposite angle is here, and the opposite is the interior angle. Last example, so here are 
uh, uh, here are all the angles are given actually okay so what we're going to do is identify which ones go with which so as you can see this these are the opposite angles of so 45 and 135 are opposite 94 and 86 are opposite now if we follow the rule we should be able to work this out the exterior angle so let's focus on this one here is the same as the opposite interior angle so here's the opposite angle and that's the interior so this one should be 94 degrees and it is yeah so the other one is 45 and 135 um, if we follow the rule again the opposite so the exterior angle which is this one here is the same as the opposite which is here interior angle so it should be 45 degrees which it is